This is Dee with Pretty in Things. Happy New Year and join me as I bring you my 2017 year in beauty favorites. This 2017 was a huge year in beauty and makeup and I'm going to show you the products that I enjoy the very most. So, are you ready? You know what to do. This is Stuart Pretty and Things. Welcome back to my channel. And if you are new to my channel, welcome. Well, guys, I am back with a new video, new hair, and wishing you a very happy new year. Um, I am bringing you my 2017 year in favorites. I actually recorded um, this video once before, but I thought it was too long, wasn't happy with the quality, so I'm doing it again and narrowing my focus a bit. Um, but before we get started, I want to encourage you to please subscribe. Subscribe to me, you guys, and please turn on those notifications so you are aware whenever I upload a great new video such as this one. I've got a lot of great content coming for you guys in 2018. So, um, again, don't want to make this video too long, so let's get right into my favorites. Okay, you guys, so this was, 2017 was, in my opinion, sort of the year of Rihanna and Fenty Beauty. Um, so, no 2017 year in a favorite video would be complete without at least one Rihanna Fenty Beauty product and mine is no different. So let's begin with a foundation. Um, this is the Fenty Beauty foundation of course. I'm in the shade uh, 420. This was a favorite for its a wonderful uh, matte finish. It dries quickly so you have to work fast but it, it is a beautiful foundation with a wonderful finish. This is definitely one of my favorites of 2017. Um, next is a surprise, the most surprising um, foundation that I liked in 2017 and that is the LA Girl Pro Coverage Foundation. I featured this foundation in my one brand, Get Ready With Me, which I will link above and I was just so impressed with it. Um, I didn't know quite what to expect, but I love this foundation. It is, a, it is a true full coverage foundation. Other foundations, you know, such as the Fenty claim to be full, but I think they're more medium. This right here is full coverage. It's $8 and a steal. So the LA Girl Pro Coverage HD Foundation is definitely a favorite. I am actually wearing it today. Love it. Because I'm using my new camera too. This is the first time filming with my new camera. So, God, I hope this video turns out okay. Moving on to my last um, foundation and my probably my favorite foundation of the year, my favorite new foundation. And it is the CoverGirl Vital Vitalist Healthy Elixir Foundation. Um, I'm in the shade Tawny, and I saw this first featured on um, Patrick Starr's channel. Um, while the shade range could be improved, if you're an NC50 like myself, um, Tawny should work for you. It is beautiful. It did have, uh, it does have a bit of an herbal scent at first, which was a bit off-putting for me initially. But it's such a gorgeous foundation with a gorgeous finish, and it's ten dollars at Walmart. Um, this is of the three favorite foundations um, that I'm showing you. This is my number one favorite of 2017. This CoverGirl Vitalis healthy elixir i love this foundation so if you have not uh, tried it check it out you guys this is awesome um okay so if you follow me you know you know you know what do i love i absolutely adore highlighters and it was tough it was tough to narrow um them down but i was able to do so so let's get into my favorite highlighters Okay, so um, once again, no um, a list would be complete, in my opinion, without um, this baby right here. The Fenty Beauty Highlighter in the shade Trophy Wife. It is gorgeous. It is unique. There are a lot of, you know, gold highlighters on the market, but none quite like this. 
this has a sort of gold green undertone that is just so incredibly not only beautiful but unique um kudos to rihanna for truly crafting an original unique shade we love this one this is definitely a favorite of 2017. um again a surprise a, a sub an absolute stunner i was i was shook by these and they are the la girl strobe light highlighters this is the shade 60 watt yeah this is the shade 60 watt and this is the shade 20 watt um, these again are featured both in my iKate house haul as well as my one brand get ready with me so be, please be sure to check those out um, what can I say I was again so pleasantly surprised by how beautifully these two apply and just look on the skin and gorgeously pigmented and these are like maybe eight bucks each I think these were like $7.99 each these are absolutely stunning if you have not tried the LA girl strobe light highlighters please please do so I do not think you will be disappointed this again like the um, foundation this was a very pleasant surprise I love these um, next, Maybelline came out with a highlighter that um, took the internet by storm, and it is this Master Chrome highlighter. Um, this is in the shade Molten Gold, and oh my goodness, if you've tried this, you know it is just blinging, popping, blinding. This is an absolute gorgeous highlighter. It is like eight dollars, I want to say eight or nine bucks. Um, and my would definitely, without question, one of my favorites of the year. This is a beautiful highlighter, you guys. And kudos to you, Maybelline, for giving us an amazing highlighter at such an amazing price. Gorgeous. A uh, couple more highlighters. A, um, a brand that really just came to my attention this year and that I am absolutely love, love, loving is um, Makeup Revolution. And this is a, a highlighter that I absolutely adore. I love all of their highlighters, but this one in particular is called Peach Kiss. And if you are looking for a blinging, popping highlighter, this is it. This is Peach Kiss. And this is a highlighter I've used throughout the year and absolutely love. This was $7 I think at Ulta. Definitely a year end favorite. Do not sleep on Makeup Revolution you guys. Last but not least for me, no year end list would be complete without at least one BH Cosmetic Highlighter. Last year, BH Cosmetic had my favorite highlighter of the year, and this year they came out with yet another great highlighter palette that has to make the list. This is, of course, the Backlight Highlight Palette. I mean, come on, you guys. Six gorgeous iridescent highlighters for what 12 bucks I think these were BH Cosmetics consistently brings us high quality at great affordable prices so if you didn't pick this one up please do so they are actually on sale right now so these are my that's it you guys it was tough to narrow down my highlighters but that's it for highlighters next I'm going to show you um the eyes let me show you the eye products that I really enjoyed and 2017. All right, guys. So the eyes have it. Um, uh, let's begin with the mascara that I've been using um, this year, and that is, if you've been watching my videos, you know the Wet n Wild Cat Eye Fanatic Mascara. This is in the color uh, Black Cat. This is a five dollar mascara. I love the wand. I love everything about it. And yeah, this is my favorite mascara of the year. Wet n Wild. If you follow me, and you should be following me, you know that I love inexpensive lashes. Okay, you look at these lashes, you like these lashes? 
fabulous, right? These are inexpensive lashes that I got actually from AliExpress. These are the lashes I'm wearing right now. And I got these off AliExpress. These are other ones that I get. These are from, I think, eBay or AliExpress is another. Because I just love the inexpensive lashes. I find them easier to work with. They come in, as you can see, a wide variety. And I'm, I'm just not the type of person who's going to pay $20 for a pair of lashes. Um, I just don't see the point. If I had told you these were Lily lashes, you wouldn't have been able to tell me otherwise. Because, I mean, there is no discernible difference. So, um, I am a huge fan of inexpensive ebay and aliexpress lashes i will link below where i got these for you guys if you wear lashes you need some great lash adhesive and this has been my favorite of the year this is my new favorite the allure this is a bomb i love it because you don't have to worry about you know finding your top or any of that stuff you just take it and you spread it on with this little applicator here spread it onto the band of your lash and um, put it back in so you never have to you know, worry about your, your um, adhesive drying out. I got this, I think, at Sally's. On, at Sally's or Walmart. I think I want to see Sally's. So if you guys have not tried this, um, please check it out. This is an awesome adhesive. I love it. In 2017, I started doing... Um, get ready with me's and you know showing you guys how I sort of do my makeup and there were two makeup palettes in 2017 that I just absolutely adored um, the first one is um, the androgyny palette Jeffree Star androgyny palette this is a palette that is I mean these colors are gorgeous and they are suitable for any sort of um, skin tone these are gorgeous colors and I absolutely love them so that was, you know, my one of my favorite palettes. And my second favorite palette of 2017 is, of course, the Too Faced Peach, Sweet Peach Palette. I love this. I love the packaging of this. Um, and these colors are freaking bomb. These are beautiful. I love the way it smells. And, yeah. So these are, for my eyeshadows, um, these two are my favorites, were my favorites of 2017. In 2018, I'm going to be doing more Get Ready With Me's. You guys seem to enjoy that, so I'm going to bring you more of it. Next up, lips. Now, on lips, I'm just narrowed it down to my sort of, what has been sort of my signature lip for um, 2017, what was my signature lip. Um, I have two lipsticks that I have made, that are my absolute favorites right now and what I use primarily in 2017. And these are MAC lipsticks. The first one is Stone. Gorgeous. My, this is my favorite lipstick, you guys. Stone Mac, um, Stone, and the other is uh, Mud Wrestler. And what I like to do, you guys, is to move in, is create a sort of an ombre effect. I like to use Mud Wrestler on the inside like this, and Stone on the outside. I like that. And that's how I create this sort of nude lip. And I apologize, guys. I'm looking at the view tinder instead of the, the lens. I have a new camera, you guys, so I'm just getting used to it. This is the first time using it. So this is my favorite lipstick of 2017. And my favorite lip pencil, always, always, Nika K. Nika K makes the best. Nika K and Kylie Cosmetics, but Nika K because they're so great and they're so affordable. Now, this is the Nika K pencil in the shade Coffee. That's my favorite um, a lip pencil. I always pair it with my two favorite um, MAC lipsticks. Another favorite that I would be absolutely remiss if I did not mention are blushes you guys i'm a blush gal i really love blushes and my absolute favorite blushes on the market are the ones from black radiance you guys black radiance makes the best blushes they are pigmented to the max and they are gorgeous this is actually my favorite this is a plum sorbet and it's a kind of a combination blush a slash highlight i'm actually wearing it right now 
These are gorgeous and absolutely like wonderfully pigmented. Um, the Artesian blushes. This is uh, Rich Peach. And this is a Raspberry. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous blushes. Very inexpensive. These are like two, three bucks each. And they are my favorite blushes, bar none. All right, so you guys, that's going to cover off on my makeup items. Next, we're going to get into skin and hair. Okay, guys, so when it comes to skincare, um, I keep it pretty simple. And I have just two items that I really wanted to share with you because these two were my go-tos in all of 2017. First of all, this is Biore Charcoal Cleanser. Deep Pore Charcoal Cleanser. It's great for oily skin. I have combination skin. It's not overly oily. Um, so I don't use this every day, but this is a fantastic cleanser um, and it, you can feel the tingle in this. So this has been my pretty much my go-to. This was pretty much my go-to in 2017. Another um, facial product that I love, 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 love is this Freeman's Charcoal and Black Sugar. They call it a mask, but you guys, this is a scrub. I use this as a scrub in the shower after I wash my face. I apply a little bit of this and I use it as a scrub. Check it out if you haven't. Um, last but not least, you guys, I'm gonna get into some hair products. Um, I only have a couple. Firstly, you know, you guys, I love leave-in conditioners, and my absolute favorite is this. It's a 10 um, Miracle Leave-In Plus Keratin. I use the one with keratin in it. This is my favorite one. Um, honey, if you're having problems with your hair, if this can't get you together, I don't know what it what will. Um, this is a little bit pricey. It's about maybe for this big one, maybe 35. I got mine actually on J at JC Penny um, for like half off. Look for those sales. Look for those coupons. But this is worth every penny, and a little bit goes a long way. Make one without the keratin as well, but I just prefer this one. Um, another product I have been loving. If you've noticed, look at these curls. These I'm a low maintenance gal when it comes to my hair. So if you're liking my hair and the curls, these natural looking curls, what I use to bring them out is simply this, the Cream of Nature Argan Oil Curl Activator Cream. This is so awesome, you guys, and you get a lot of bang for your buck. I mean, this is 12 ounces and it was $5.99 at my local beauty supply. Um, I am also a huge fan of the uh, wet and wavy line of cream conditioning curl activators. However, I think that's only like maybe seven or eight ounces and, um, and about the same price, maybe a dollar or so more. This is $5.99 for this big bottle and it works beautifully. Just, you know, apply it when wet, let it air dry and bam gorgeous gorgeous soft and there's really no buildup that i've experienced so check it out if you haven't okay you guys we've come to the end of my favorite video and i am leaving you guys with my favorite conditioner it is the classic vo5 moisture milk in strawberry cream it smells wonderful oh it smells wonderful and it's my favorite co-wash. Um, I co-wash this with, I co-wash this hair with the VO5, with this VO5 moisture milk, add a little bit of the argan oil cream activator, and bam. I mean, it is, well, you can get this too for a dollar sometimes, you guys, and, but it's generally right around 89 cents or a dollar at, at the Dollar Tree or whatever, you guys. I would not, don't, do not pay more than a dollar for this. I mean, I don't know any place that charges more than a dollar, but this is one of the best conditioners you can buy and it smells amazing so you guys do not sleep on the vo5 conditioners they are awesome so that's it you guys those are my favorites of 2017 i hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please like subscribe and follow me you guys follow me on instagram and twitter and don't forget to follow my weight loss journey throughout 2018 on instagram um and my new instagram page pretty delicious okay so thank you so much for your time happy new year and i look forward to bringing you a new videos throughout the year i think this year is going to be awesome and i look forward to sharing it with you so until next time you guys mwah.